So in this video, I'd like to show you why 0 factorial is equal to 1. So if we evaluate the gamma function, when x is equal to 1, this is equal to 1 minus 1 factorial, which is 0 factorial. So we just need to evaluate this integral when we replace x with 1. So this is equal to the integral from 0 to infinity of t to the 1 minus 1 multiplied by e to the minus t dt. Notice that t to the 1 minus 1 would just simplify to t to the 0 and anything to the 0 power is equal to 1. So this expression here simplifies to 1. So to evaluate this integral, since it's improper, we need to replace the top bound with a variable and then take the limit as that variable approaches infinity. So let's replace it with the variable b and take the limit as b approaches infinity of the integral from 0 to b of 1 multiplied by e to the minus t dt. And this is equal to the limit as b approaches infinity of the antiderivative of this expression, so that's minus e to the minus t evaluated between 0 and b. So if we plug b into this limit here, this is equal to the limit as b approaches infinity of minus 1 over e to the b, and then we have to subtract this expression evaluated at 0. So we have minus e to the 0, and anything to the 0 power is 1, so this is just minus negative 1. And as b approaches infinity, and this expression here, the denominator gets bigger and bigger while the numerator stays constant. So this term here is going to approach 0. So what we're left with is just 0 minus negative 1, which is the same thing as just adding 1. So this entire integral here is equal to 1. So what we found is that gamma of 1, which is the same thing as 0 factorial, is equal to 1.